Hi, I'm Andy Hiram from uh, Bio8 MV Garden and Pond Products. Today we're going to talk to you about how you measure your pond and how you calculate the volume of pond water. Um, it's a really important thing because unless you know how much water you've got, it's very difficult to make sure that you treat it uh, correctly. So all you need for this simple job is a tape measure um, and obviously a pond. Um, so what we've got here is almost a, uh, you could say a kidney shaped or an irregular circle uh, or rectangle of a pond. Now what you want to do is to use common sense. So what we're going to say is we can't measure it as a rectangle, as a true square um, and it's very difficult to measure it actually as a circle because it is more of a rectangle. So it falls in between the two stools so to speak. So what we're going to do is we're going to take an average um, on this. So if we first measure the width of it or you can do the length first as it happens the width is where we're at at the moment so simply take a tape measure pick a point and bring that through to there and you can see here we've got 1.9 meters so the next thing we need is the length now this is a relatively small pond. I'm guessing it's going to be around about 2.6 to 2.8 meters wide. So it can be quite difficult to get um, a tape measure across it. Therefore, if you want, you can actually just take a measure from the outside of the pond where it's safe and we can take it up to, to approximately there and get a, a rough measurement, just working it out. So there we have 2.8 meters. So we've got the width and we've got the length and we've used common sense because we know it's not a, uh, a rectangle but we're going to go on the conservative side, we're going to look on a, uh, a bigger scale because it's better to overestimate the water rather than underestimate it. The next critical bit of information we need is the depth. Now this is where it can potentially get dangerous so again use common sense. We're going to um, reach out as far as you can go safely and I say safely so we've got about half a meter or 50 centimeters if your pond shelves and it isn't straight sided again use common sense if it shelves shallowly you might do it as a depth of 0.45 meters if it's shallow if it uh, comes up quite steep at the sides you might average out at 0.4 so now we're going to do a simple math calculation we'll do this on screen using the dimensions we've found But also remember we have this on our website in a simple calculator where you can just input the, uh, the length, the width and the depth in either feet or also centimetres or metres and it will automatically convert this over to you, uh, for you and give you uh, a volume in both gallons and also litres. So if you go to our pond calculator on the MV website you'll see the address below on the screen. Uh, just click that and it'll take you straight through. So just to uh, recap, the actual volume of your pond is really important. Without knowing the volume of your pond, then it's very difficult to make sure you're treating the right amount. You can't over-treat our products, but you can under-treat. So it's important to try and get an idea of what the volume uh, of water you've got in your pond. We hope you found this helpful, and uh, please visit our website at www.nv.co.uk for any more information. Thank you.